Seven minutes before the top of the hour. Good morning. How are you feeling? Hope you're doing well. Are college safe spaces outlawing free speech on campus? Officials at Clemson University reportedly denied a man from praying in public because he wasn't in what they called a designated free speech zone. Well, Clemson said the man had to fill out a request to pray on campus because he didn't attend the school. But our next guest says this can just as easily happen to students. Joining me now is Greg... Luke Yanov, he's the president of the Foundation for Individual Rights in Education, and his client, Nicole Sanders, who last year, if you'll remember, fought and won a lawsuit against her own college's free speech zone. Good morning to both of you, and thanks for being with us. Thanks for having us. Greg, first, spell out exactly what happened at, at Clemson, this most recent incident. Uh, the Clemson incident, uh, uh, someone was trying to pray on campus and they told him he couldn't unless he actually applied for permission to do so, and then he could only do so inside the free speech zone. But you say it's a slippery slope, this guy wasn't a student, but you say it could happen to students too? Oh, it doesn't just could happen to students, it happens to students all the time. Um, I mean, for praying? I've dealt with uh, for, for trying to hand out copies of the Constitution, for example. We have two different campuses on which students were told they could not hand out copies of the Constitution without getting advanced permission from the state. Wow, that seems unreal. What are, what are your thoughts on this, Nicole? Um, I think it's, it's crazy, and it does happen to students a lot. Uh, and then how about, how about your instance where, where you fought and won at Blinn there in, uh, is it Houston? Is that right? Yeah, in Houston. Um, I was just talking to students about campus carry. I wasn't even handing out anything. I was just telling students about a new club on campus, Young Americans for Liberty, and I wanted students to get involved. What do you think about these free speech zones in general? Do you think they're, they're right? Not at all. I don't think that students should pay money to go to school to be told where they have free speech and where they don't on what the about, campus. And what about what happened at, at Clemson? Do you think that a different standard should apply for people who are not students like this gentleman? Um, I'm not quite sure about that. I don't have a lot of the specifics on that case. Sorry. All right, well, we've got some, some tips here on how to fight for free speech on campus. I want to go through these for all my friends at home. First tip is know before you go. Next up, get any reprimand in writing. No public college speech code limits as well before you start trying to, to go out there. Greg, what do you say to folks who want to get their message out? Say they want to hand out a constitution or they do want to just simply pray. That seems unbelievable that you can't do yeah. that in anywhere on campus. And you can do it in your own mind without speaking out loud, too. But what, what's your advice? My advice is they should contact uh, the, my organization, The Fire, um, uh, at thefire.org, uh, and they should consider suing their school. Universities have been trying to get away with murder. They have speech codes that are laughably unconstitutional. The speech zone that, that, uh, that Nicole had to deal with was 0.0007% of the entire campus. You don't have to put up with that. And just real quick before we go, do you feel like there's a double standard if it's, uh, if it's somebody pushing a liberal policy rather than a conservative policy? Oh, yeah, definitely not all speech is treated the same. Right. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good Labor Day. Hope you stay dry.